Welcome to the Big Apple. And uh, you're a Calgary boy. Uh, what, what's it like getting to New York City for the first time? It's pretty cool. You know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people. Uh, doesn't really, nobody really sleeps, I guess. Yeah, kind of had a late night last night, just kind of taking everything in and walking around. But it's great to be here. It's a very exciting time. Yeah, the Leafs obviously very interested in you. Who else are you talking to uh, on this day prior to the draft? Uh, a couple other teams, the Florida Panthers. Um, other than that, just just as Toronto, these two meetings today. But, you know, there's been a lot in the last couple months here. But, you know, it's good. I'm very excited to get it going. Was it a challenging season as a team for you out in the W this year? Yeah, it was. It was a little bit challenging. You know, we didn't meet our team goals, so that was to make playoffs and have some success there. So individually, you know, I thought I contributed pretty well, but from a team standpoint, yeah, it was, it was a little bit difficult. Yeah, you're an elite player on a team that's developing. How difficult is this? And I, I guess I asked the same thing as Sean Monaghan. He was in a similar situation. He said he was able to benefit from it. Yeah, exactly. You know, you got to find the positives in all the situations. And I thought I got to play a pretty big role and, and learn how to, you know, round up my game and, and develop different areas of my game that I might not have been able to on other teams. So I'm fortunate for that. But, you know, I definitely think that playing on a, on a weaker time team, you do get you do get a lot of opportunity. And I was fortunate for that. What were the benefits of at least exiting early in terms of your physical development and getting ready now for the next season? Well, I got to play in the under-18 tournament, mm -hmm. so that was pretty special. You know, we won a gold medal there and, and played pretty well there, I thought. So you know, I was very happy to, to, to take part in that. And then, yeah, just getting to the gym early. You know, you get another month or so of training that other guys don't get. So I, I'm appreciative of that and you know, very fortunate even going to the combine testing that I could test well. You know, asked Dylan Hetherington what made that team, and so she's so special. What, uh, what stood out for you in, in the track toward that gold medal? how quickly we came together you know we had a very good group of guys that put their put their egos aside and just put their put their hard hats on and went to work and i think that's really why we had a lot of success there you guys sick of hearing usa usa yeah it was good to beat them they were a very good team they always do for that tournament so to beat them in the final was something very special well, you're now in new york you've been to los angeles elaborate on what goes on to going down to los angeles to train and getting you ready for uh, what you're going to expect come sunday in newark uh, well, it's it's pretty similar, you know, just just getting to meet a lot of people, a lot of really important people, and get the training over with, and do some meetings. So you, you can go do that, and just and just be ready for the big day. Midget hockey, growing up, uh, we've talked with uh, Hunter Shimarak, uh, Shim Shinkarik. I'm sorry, so many kids. Calgary Royals, Calgary Buffaloes, just how uh, how steep a rivalry do we have there? It's pretty big. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate uh, good rivalry in hockey, and I think that's one of the better ones I've ever been a part of. So we had a lot of good playoff games, and my, myself and Hunter going head-to-head -head as well. So it was a very good rivalry and something that, you know, I really benefited from as a player. You're going to have lots of company coming out of the W, headed to the podium on Sunday? Uh, yeah, I think there will be a pretty good amount of us. You know, hopefully a pretty good, pretty good league. I think they develop players pretty well. So I hope, uh, hope to hear a couple names called.